I'm Giuliano, I'm 62, and I'm from Rome, Italy. I'm Piero, I'm 68, I come from Bologna, Italy. I was kind of in a, in a spiritual trip, I was looking for answers. I wasn't not religious, but I was looking for answers. And, uh, well, then I met this guy. <laughs> and he led me on a, a road of uh, sin and perdition. It was one of, uh, yeah, somebody I know in the beginning. It was no friend. We'd seen each other since 72. He was living on the other side of the beach. You know, we would see each other and say hello. But then in Delhi sometime, uh, I don't know, must have been 74. Around 74, we, I don't know, we happened to be in the same place, uh, uh, same so, park. We, sleep, we were sleeping in a park and we got to know each other. And I was bigger other. than him, so he felt uh, he was protected. I so wasn't, I, uh, you know, I hadn't spoken with any Italian for many years. So like meeting him was like for, you know, for two days we just talked, talked, talked. I was your manager. I have sold your first painting to a famous I was, yeah, European I was, I was painting, but I was too shy to sell yeah. them. So, so he, he would go around in No, I was not hotels. going around. I was speaking with people. I met this lady. She was a famous well, sculptor. He likes to rap a lot, so in, uh, he's good at that. In Italy, <laughs> I saw her, this, uh, his painting, his drawing, and I asked him how much he wanted to sell. And he say something like five know. bucks, you know, <laughs> ten know. bucks. I, I thought, are you not? I had no idea. So I, I, I still don't. I, I sold was, for 50 bucks. We live one, one month with these 50 bucks. This one was made in uh, 72. So I, I had to protect him from his paranoia most. And... Um, in, in, and to be his manager. While doing that, he corrupted me. I you start <laughs> to look at chicks. It was the first well, good point. It was fun. I must <laughs> say, it was fun. We laughed a lot. No, we, we Until really it lasted, we laughed a lot. I mean, I think in my early drawings, there is, yes, there are the hippie colors, but is, there is, I mean, this is a sad, it's a sad image, you know, it's not a happy image. I think, uh, I can, I can still relate to this, you know, like, what's sadness in paradise, in a way, um, there was a lot of fear, I would say, there was a lot of, I mean, we were living, like, day by day, really, don't knowing what's gonna be tomorrow, you know, often without money, but we went through some heavy shit, you know, so I think my old drawings reflect that, you know, the fear, the, the, the anguish, loneliness. This was his trip, mine was completely now different. It, yeah. <laughs> One of the things that drew us together was like we were the opposite, like, I wasn't a happy hippie at all, you know, and it was fun, it made me laugh, you know, so like we were... You know, it was just enough to look at you, <laughs> and you, you could look at you and laugh. He, he said, we were in, sort of in contact, he sent me an email and saying that there was this uh, Facebook, and some of the ladies, Penny, some others were trying to get this gathering together. So I connected with Penny and like in in two months, I, you know, I connected to like, uh, I don't know, 200 people from back then, you know. For me it was quite, I don't know, was, I think it was extraordinary because I, had, I, I hadn't been painting for like 29 years since I went back to Italy. And like, uh, but when I posted my Goa photo, I posted also my drawings and I got so much feedback from people because many, maybe people didn't know that I was painting them. Some people did, but not many. And like, uh, I got so much feedback that I felt like doing it again. So I started painting again in, in 2009, which was quite amazing.
he, he refused to, to see people uh, of that uh, period for a while. I had, I had another life. I had another life, you know, yeah, no. so... Oh, I was very happy when we, we met again. Also by chance, <laughs> because like I went into the internet uh, place the day I arrived and, and there he was. It wasn't planned, you know, I was just sitting in front of uh, the computer. Yeah, it was a buzz, it was a buzz. Yeah, he's still then he, uh, he asked me to stay with him and uh, he invited me. And then after I sold a few paintings and few, a few prints, Listen, you he decided sold because to charge I was me your manager. <laughs> you, me it up. isn't there to go out. I have to carry the painting. <laughs> anyway, he's a good artist, but uh, he doesn't know yet. <laughs>